Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen, and today I'm going to show you how I did this almost anti-Valentine Day nail set with the black hearts. I did do this on my daughter-in-law. Once again, she's my stiletto girl and picks such great designs. So first, I'm going to go ahead and take my red iguana practice finger and prep it. And the tip that I'm using today is the Universal Tips by Not Polish. And I'm just going to cut that little tip off and I'm going, ahead, I'm going to go ahead and reshape it into that stiletto. When I reshape into the stiletto, I like to go side to side and evenly take them down a little bit off of each side. You don't want to go too far on one side. The color that I'm going to use today and that I used on her whole set is First Nude by Not Polish. I absolutely love this nude. It is gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and place my first bead and I kind of smooth it down at the top and then work it down the nail so that, that that way when I place my second bead it just blends into it perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and place it just above and pull it down and then I will do the same with the third bead. The third bead I'll be placing right beneath the cuticle and then I will tap it up into place and then work it down the nail also. Today I'm using my favorite brush and it is a number 12 by Not Polish and Today was actually the first time when I was shaping my stiletto. I was using the Tammy Taylor peel and stick and I absolutely love them for shaping her stilettos. I also used them when I did the full set for the first time. Absolutely love it. It gave me such a nice crisp shape. So I have a feeling that's going to be my new go-to for really crisp stilettos and all the shapes that you really have to get a super straight line on that just did the job so as you can see i went ahead and tried to stay real nice and neat and tapped in my sides kept every all of the shape uniform i'm going to go ahead and file and buff off camera and now i am just applying a nice thin coat of matted by not polish if you've seen my other videos you notice that i do do that before i do any hand painting just to keep all my lines nice and smooth and it's just become such a habit for me I go ahead and always do it the only other product I'm going to be using today is the gel liner by not polish also and it is in the black I am going to go ahead and do my little French tip using the paintbrush that it comes with which creates such a straight perfect line and I absolutely love it you will see me going over I wasn't sure how thick I was going to do it and of course you know I'm a coffee girl, so <laughs> I got a little bit of a shake there. So I went ahead and just evened out my lines, made sure they were nice and straight, straight as can be. And this black is so pigmented. Actually, when I posted the picture of it in a couple of the Facebook pages, people did comment on how pigmented that black was. And it really, truly is. I absolutely love it. For my little heart design, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on the paper and use my dotting tool to go ahead and give myself two perfectly little round circles. And then I'll go back to that brush that comes with the gel liner and finish creating my heart. So for this, I did go ahead and leave the heart in real time just so people could see how slow I'm actually doing it. I know people get discouraged or try and do it as fast as everybody on YouTube videos or little TikToks do it, but you have to understand that these videos are sped up so that they are not hours long and it takes us time to do it um, and get it as close to perfect as we can. But I just want wanted to show how slow I really am doing this and took my time made sure I really liked it before I went ahead and cured it. I did go ahead and cure this for two minutes just to make sure that that black was totally cured. Now I'm going to go ahead and just re top coat it with matte it. I did do her set shiny. She wanted it shiny so I figured I'd do this practice finger in the matte just so you could see it both ways. Some people like matte, some people like shiny, some people need to see it to know which way they want that design. And then I'm going to show you it shiny real quick before I cure it. And then I will show it to you matte. I have a little video of her hands and the picture that I put on Instagram. 
and that will wrap up my video i hope you enjoyed this set thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please consider subscribing i really appreciate it if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment or even hitting that like button it helps me out so much and i will see you in the next video thank you so much bye